Okay, hey guys, what's up? This is Ninja Gamer of Ninja Gamer 101. Uh, this is a completely random video. Uh, don't normally make videos like this, but uh, I came across something pretty, uh, I guess kind of scary, <laughs> at least to me, that is, um, earlier today. Um, this is a site called oatmealdome.me, and this is basically where a uh, data miner I, data miner of Splatoon 2 uh, uploads different stuff like news data for Splatfest, actual Splatfest announcements, uh, different stuff like that. And um, I actually came across this uh, particular thing on Twitter today. And if we take a look at the ending um, dialogue for the Unicorn versus Narwhal. Um, Splatfest that is happening next weekend, I believe. So, we can see how Team Alpha wins and Team Bravo wins. Team Alpha being, uh, Team, uh, Team Pearl, I guess. So, that would be Unicorns winning, and Bravo would be Marina winning. So, if we take a look at this, we can see the dialogue. So, Pearl's like, Team Unicorn, because she won, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Unicorn, I mean, there. Yeah. Uh, Marina says nothing. Team Unicorn is true to form. Our uniform's the coolest horn. Booyah. Ha, nice one, Pearl. But ha, oh, wait, what? Aren't you gonna act all annoyed that I won and rubbed it in your face? Nah. Well, where's the fun in that? Sorry, I just can't shake the feeling that something big is coming. Coming. I can feel it in my bones. Well then, it's a good thing that squids don't have bones. Ha ha ha. If you participated in the f Splatfest, your surprises are waiting in the square. That is very different from the marina I know. That's for complete and utter sure. And the, the way that she said that, just like, sorry, I just can't shake the feeling that something big is coming. I'm coming. I can't stop saying coming. I'm sorry. I can feel it in my bones. That's just... That's kind of eerie, don't you think? And then, if we take a look at if Marina wins. So, Narwhal! Pearl says nothing. Way to go, Team Mar Narwhal. I knew we could do it. So, this sounds a lot more like Marina. And, uh, this sounds a lot like, more like Pearl, obviously. But, going back to it. Yeah, nice one, Marina. Uh, Pearl, you feeling okay? You ever just feel like something big is coming? It's almost like the end is near. Yeah, I feel it too. But whatever happens, we'll always have each other's backs, right? Yeah. If you participate in the Splatfest, your prizes are waiting in the square. How eerie is that? That's just... Super, super eerie. Like, I don't even know where to begin with this. Like, hold on, let me look at this real quick. Hold up. Okay, there's nothing that I can read there, so I don't know why I tried to check that. But, that is super eerie, yo. Like, I can only imagine what this final Splatfest is going to be and what it's going to turn out. Like, firstly, this could either go two ways, I'm thinking. I have two theories of what the final Splatfest could be. It could either be uh, Squid Sisters versus um, Off the Hook, which would kind of make sense. But for this dialogue, especially with uh, this right here, but whatever happens, we'll always have each other's backs, right? Yeah. And then the dot dot dot. Especially for that, that's leading me to believe that this final Splatfest is gonna be Pearl versus Marina. And I don't know what to think of that. Because, uh, honestly, I don't know. This is just super eerie to me. I don't know how this final dialogue is gonna be. And I especially don't know. How this is going to end, I guess, because 
it could bring us to Splatoon 3, and whoever loses the Splatfest is likely to be the one that gets kidnapped or, um, like, brainwashed or whatever in the next game, if that next game ever happens, which... Uh, just imagining that as a Splatoon fan really riles me up because with Pearl it could be something very very nasty especially with her uh, special power that was shown off at the end of a uh, at the end of uh Aqua expansion and then if it's Marina like imagine how many things she can make for the Octarians yet again like the evil Octarians I should say or an uh, even worse enemy. And then... Not only that, but she was already a part of the Octarian's army before. Before she got, like, awakened, I guess. I don't know. But, I just... This foreshadow is so freaking real. I, I can't... I can't even... Oh my lord. I just had to make a video about this because, like, I don't know if you guys are thinking the same thing. I don't know if some of you guys have seen this, but, like, this shakes me up a lot. Like, seriously. I'm, I'm scared. I'm excited. I'm frightful. <laughs> and, uh, hmm, I just can't wait until the next Splatfest, I guess. So, yeah. Just wanted to make a quick video on this. I know it's pretty late right now. I'm supposed to be in the bed right now, actually. But, um, yeah. Just wanted to show and uh, tell my thoughts on this real quick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, leave a like if you uh, like this kind of thing. I guess I'll do more of these if uh, the opportunity arises. And, yeah. This is, this is a lot. So, thanks for watching. Uh, not going to edit this video because there's not much point. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, my ninja fam. And I'm scared. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, lord.